made giant technological advances since World Wars I and II. These were the conventional artillery weapons. They were cumbersome, required a great deal of manpower, and their explosive force was small when compared to today's thundering detonations. Cannon, mortars, bazookas, and rockets. Then came the dawn of the atomic age. And man's entire concept of warfare was altered. The development of new weapons became instantly important. The Department of the Army required a rocket capable of carrying an atomic warhead. A rocket that could accompany and participate in the most mobile troop operations. A weapon that could be landed and be ready for use in a matter of minutes. Easy to manufacture, easy to launch. And the need for the weapon was urgent. Late in 1950, the Army Ordnance Corps contracted with the Douglas Aircraft Company to develop and build such a weapon, a ground-to-ground -ground artillery field rocket capable of delivering an atomic warhead against enemy field forces and their supporting installations. This rocket is now in combat readiness with our armed forces here and abroad. Because of its ruggedness and reliability, it is called Honest John. Six months after the proposal was approved, Douglas completed the first of several Honest Johns. Testing then began at the White Sands Proving Grounds, New Mexico. This fixed launcher was erected to permit launching the rocket and to study its performance and accuracy. Firing is similar to usual artillery firing methods. The research and development field tests soon proved the reliability of the rocket. A primary requirement for an artillery rocket is mobility. The Honest John rocket can be quickly assembled and moved into position behind battle lines as needed. Since Honest John is a free-flight ballistic rocket and is not guided by complex electronic controls, training personnel for handling and operating the rocket is easily accomplished. Mobility is achieved through the use of this compact, specially designed vehicle. It serves both as rocket transporter and launcher and fits easily into aircraft like the C-124. The compact launcher can travel over improved roads with a completely assembled rocket clamped on the launching rail or over natural terrain. It is reliable under all weather conditions, from arctic cold and snow to tropical heat and rain. Handling and operating procedures of the Honest John system are relatively simple. Built-in jacks make leveling the launcher possible on uneven terrain. Transversing and elevating the rocket to its firing position are accomplished by a power takeoff unit from the truck motor. These operations can be accomplished manually in an emergency. The launcher is sighted by means of standard artillery firing methods. For safety, squib cables are attached to the rocket and strung out to a remote fire control box where the officer in charge coordinates all firing activities. A last minute check is made on wind conditions and computations are corrected.
Then target range and azimuth information are received from fire direction control. Final adjustments of elevation and azimuth are made. The launcher is sighted on the target. The launching area is cleared of all personnel. And the rocket is ready. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fire! Another Honest John is on its way to hit a predetermined target. Several hundred Honest Johns have been successfully tested to date. The main objectives of the program have been met. Honest John is being produced in large quantities and is being issued to tactical units to supplement our medium and heavy artillery. It can be equipped with either atomic warheads or highly explosive warheads equaling the force of many standard artillery rounds. The Douglas Aircraft Company, in cooperation with the U.S. Army Ordnance, is working to continue to improve on the versatility, range, and accuracy of the Honest John rocket.